right across from Big Cat Falls, you got Big Cat Trading Post. You know, the gift shop with all sorts of stuff. Go on. Okay, yeah. All right, we got Sumatra and Orangutan. Freeze. Right, there's a zoo moves with you. So yeah, you see these trails go all over the place. Just behind the gift shop are restroom locations. It's the Gibbons and Orangutans timeshare. See the white-handed gibbon? Or Sumatra and Orangutan. This is the habitat. This is right next to the gift shop and restrooms. Don't see anything out at the moment, but they do have access to go inside. And now we got Pico Primate Reserve. We got a nice waterfall. Look into the water. Expecting fish to be in here, but I don't see any fish. Just lots of bubbles. All right, we got ringtail lemur and mongoose lemur. See the ringtail lemur? There's a duck in the water. These are probably the most well-known of the lemur species, thanks to the Madagascar movies. So, Zoo 360. See all the different areas. Oh, welcome, great ape heroes. Retail lemur. This female's in charge. This is Lemur's indoor habitat. Got this cute little one in here. And so ring-tailed lemurs were all outside. And this is the other lemur. These are the snout nose. Yeah, long tails. Long tails are White hand gibbon. So you know who's in here. Got one of the white hand gibbon. Look at three. Oh, oh.
We got eye eyes of the night for us. We got eye eyes. Pygmy Loris. Bush baby. And giant jumping rat. I see one of them walking around because I see a fuzzy luzzy tail. There we go. Switch my camera to infrared. See that helps. It's extremely dark in here. Extremely dark. Very hard to see because my eyes aren't adjusted to the darkness. Yeah, I see something moving around. Can I tell what it is? See fuzzy tails. The fuzzy tails. So do you see some animals back there? Trying to see. And that's going to put all sorts of food down for the lemurs. Woo. Hey, common squirrel monkey. Life in the trees. Alright, so I am looking for a squirrel monkey now. Not seeing them. Squirrel monkeys are out. Here we go. Another one over here. Oh, I'm getting some Halloween candy. Yeah, last year's candy doesn't sound like it'd be good. That's a joke, of course. You're not eating candy. We got Western Lowland Gorilla. All the gorillas he's got. He looks quite comfortable. Yeah. Like to be the big male. Yeah, the other two gorillas over here. Going up the stairs, you get a higher up perspective. Wow, one one's up really, really high. Two gorillas. The other two are down in the pool. So it's their choice whether or not they want to be inside or outside. See, they're going back outside. Absolutely their choice. The Gorilla Treeways. So that's really cool the way they do this. This is another view of the Lowland Gorilla's habitat. See, we're inside the building just a moment ago. This nice gorilla statue. 
through all the shiny bits or where people put their hands on them. So oils in your hands wears down the protective coating. Oh, speeder generosity. This is what happens when people support their local zoo. Right, so show you the map again. And where I'm at, I'm near Kid Zoo U. All right, we got reptiles and amphibians. All right, West African dwarf crocodile. More information about them. There he is. Looking all over for him. Got a nice habitat. Got a reticulated python. So I'm looking and I do not see this snake. Oh, oh, oh I found him. Arl curled up. There we go. Okay, West African crocodile. Alright. Yeah, toothy smile. More information on the West African crocodile. So this is secondary habitat for the West African crocodile. And we got a Galapagos tortoise and an Aldabra tortoise. So this is their indoor habitat, so they're going to be outside. This is their tortoises. Yeah, green. Got green anaconda. Here's the other one. And from what I understand, these guys don't want none unless you got buns on. That's what I've heard anyway. It's sneaky. Uh, there we got desert tortoise. And beaded lizard. Very nice habitat. So beaded lizard is sort of inside the log area, or underneath it rather. I'll show you a little bit more of them. And the tortoise is in its little dish. Almost missed them. All right, crocodile or alligator. Now we got a crocodile lizard and a Chinese three-striped box turtle. I like this habitat. So there is the turtle. So I'm looking for the crocodile lizard. Don't see the crocodile lizard. Yeah. I think maybe he's up high. This camouflage in pretty good. Got a Florida common snapping turtle. These guys resemble alligator snapping turtles, but they are a lot smaller in size. Got a dwarf caiman. Dwarf caiman's habitat. Up above and water view. He's right up above. Almost looks like a statue, but he's real. It's like he's sleeping. Yeah. We got a Mata Mata. Wow, that's a fancy habitat here. Oh yeah. Trying to find him. A kind of turtle. So I don't see him. All right, got a Martin's water martyr. Oh, a really cool habitat. And there he is. All right. This guy's got a huge habitat. Weber sailfin lizard. Nice habitat for this guy. 
go. We think he's in Florida. Oh, look at the And then the second one. That one's moving. So we got two of them in here from what I can see. Step right up. All right, we got King Cobra. Excuse me, I need to take a Go, King Cobra. King Cobra of Memories. King Cobra Reproduction. Got prehensile tailed skink. So slow, the turtle. So slow. Here we go. Looking for him, funny find him. That's a funny tail lizard. Why? Because they're very cute. Where are they? That's a new one. No, right there. Oh, there he is. Here we go. The snake sign is missing. Oh, we got pancake tortoise. Come here. Looking for the pancake tortoise. Oh, thank you. I figured he was hanging out with the waffle tortoise. Yeah, she's underneath. Underneath. Oh, we got some Gila monster. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Right. That, man. Got both Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes in there and the Gila Monster right together. Find that ball three are venomous. Got a Sidewinder Rattlesnake. Very nice habitat. These are brother clubs. There we got shingleback skink and hosper skink. Nice looking habitat. Yeah, dude. No, skink is up on the top. And then right below is the shingleback. We got Panamint Rattlesnake. Cool looking habitat. There we go. We got Salmon Island Tree Boa. Trying to find him. Because it says tree bow, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be in the tree. I think I see him right in the back there. Yeah, yeah, I've got Sam curled up in the back. What a splendid tree frog. Do you see the frog? How many do you see? Hey, tree froggies! We've got one here, one down below. There's a third one. A uh, green tree python. Anytime you're looking for these snakes, look into the trees because that's usually where they are curled up. Yeah. Right, the cobra revered. All right, West African gaboon viper. Uh, yeah, it's a cool That's one snake. of Africa's largest poisonous snakes. So my favorite snake is the Gaboon Viper, but this is a different variant. It looks soft. Oh, we got Cottonmouth. Got these types of snakeys in Florida. We typically call them water moccasins there. Trying to find him. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. Timber rattlesnake. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
That's a nice looking snake. So all their habitats are very nicely done. Maybe it's their natural environment. Northern water snake. Here we go. Up above. There's a secondary habitat for the northern water snake. You get a much better view of this one. Got an Easter Masasaga. Nice habitat. Here we go. Nice snake. All right, Copperhead. Copperhead's habitat. And a Copperhead is down below underneath the fern. Uh, Tim and Rattlesnake Snake was just moving around. Our disappearing act. Got a fire salamander. So I was looking all over for it. I see him in the back. There we go. Where's the fire salamander? Got an ever spotted newt. All right, some of these habitats make it extremely difficult to find the animal. This one is blended in really, really well. I finally found them all the way in the back. Got to hold my camera at an angle just to see them. We've got a hellbender. Alright, so I am looking for the hellbender and I don't see him. So it's probably going to be the other side of those rocks. I just can't get a good view for you. Got a fire belly toad. The water and he's right there. Here we go. We got Stanning's Day Gecko. Flat tailed tortoise. There's also a flat tailed spider tortoise. So this is going to be interesting. Trying to find a day gecko. These things could be almost anywhere in this place. You see the tortoise. Now, I don't know if this same tortoise has a few different names or not, but I only see this one tortoise. But a day gecko, like I said, could be anywhere. Maybe stuck to the wall. Sometimes they're stuck right on the glass. But I'm not seeing them. Madagascan tree boa. It's a nice, very lush habitat. And I see the snake right up here. There we go. And we got a Madagascar ground boa. This guy's down in the water. It's like it's bath time. Also very, very nice looking habitat. All right, zoo to the rescue. Got a golf food lucian poison frog. I'm sure I messed it up. Green and black poison dart frog. And eyelash gecko. It's right there. There is oh, the frog. Hey, watch out, Jameson. Take it There's another one of the frogs. So now I am looking for the eyelash gecko. Again, there's so much stuff in here. Oh, I do see another frog. Sometimes it's very difficult to find everything in here. And all these different habitats are like this. All right, got tortoise trail. So this is the zoo's Eldarba and Galapagos tortoises. Wow, that's a big one. Alright, here we go. 
this moment. They be humping. Trying to make, hey, trying to make some, uh, That's how they get the children. some more tortoises. Alright, got a dauber tortoise. Baby, she's making the woman breakfast for her. Oh, yeah, we got a Galapagos tortoise. Ah, oh, she got away. Get your full self off me. Sorry, bro. Hope you got the job done before she left you. Alright, kids, do you. Hamilton Family Children's Zoo. There we got sheep. There's wild sheep and their relatives. And domestic sheep. Yeah. Got some sheep. Alright, we got pigeon. Got wild pigeons and their relatives and domestic pigeon breeds. Hi. Hello. More pigeons down below. What's up, Pidgey? Got the pigeons inside. Hi, Pidgeys! Get some weight pigeons. Got rain gardens. Of course, the area got some good rain yesterday. Got an earth friendly children's zoo. Saving water, saving animals. Got restrooms locations right here. Got green roofs are cool. There we got a duck. Our wild ducks and their relatives and domestic duck breeds. So it looks like all these ducks are temporarily off habitat. Zoo cannot do anything about the wild ducks because they're just that wild ducks. There's a playground. This is still temporarily closed off. Different states have their own way of reopening stuff. I right, got the barnyard. That's here. Please wash your hands before and after entering the barnyard. All right, they got mini horse. Got wild horses and their relatives and domestic mini horse breed. Oh yeah. These guys are having trouble speaking today, you know, because they're a little horse. <laughs> I know, it's horrible, I'm sorry. Can't help it. I got wild goats and their relatives and domestic goat breeds. Oh yeah. And sheep are amazing. Hi, hey, goaty goat. Man, it's a big goat. Yes, and that's Spunky. He's our biggest goat. He's a Sanon goat. They're the tallest breed of goat in the world. Wow. He is 220 pounds. Wow. We actually, over um, in the yard next to the alpacas, I don't know if you saw like, the, the baby pigs that were next to them. No, I haven't been in that area yet. Down okay, there. yeah, so if you go down there, they're right past... Uh, for the way you'll walk, they're right past the alpacas on your left. Um, All right. There are some baby pigs, and we have three baby sanons. Ooh. We're like maybe seven or eight weeks old, and they're probably the height of comet here already. Oh wow! <laughs> they're big. Okay, another goat. And the goat's got the stairs, so they can cross over the other area. What's up, man? See, 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 see. Get this goat, those nice horns. He's fuzzy too. How you doing? Alright, make sure you wash your hands. There's hand soap, sinks, and hand dryers. Kaleidoscope of breeds. Diversity makes all the difference. Right, so all the indoor portions, like the education center, 
are currently not available. But I do like this. Got a pack over here. We got the sheep. There are some other goats over here. I'll pack it right inside the barn. Oh, look at a Saba Island hog. Uh, it looks like they're inside. There you go. One came out to say hello. The other ones are inside. All right, so I'm back up front near this fantastic fountain. This concludes my initial walkthrough. There were a few animals that I didn't get to see quite as good of a view. I don't believe there was anything that I totally missed, but I'm gonna rewalk everything just to see. All right, back at the Pied Tamarin. See them a lot better. They were running up on the ceiling the first time. And of course the sloth. Came back to the blue-eyed black lemur and I still don't see them. This is what they look like. So I'd say this is a no-go. And Frank West Langler. I better view them. Pied Tamarin, other habitat. Alright, so I'm back at the Bornean Gray Titi Monkey and the Giant Elephant Shrew habitat. Giant Elephant Shrew is still out running around. But the Bolivian Gray Titi Monkey is a no go. Alright, back at the Emu. And red kangaroo habitat. See the roos are out. All right, came back to the mirror cat, and I see a mirror cat now. Hi. How are you? What if he's out all by himself? I don't see the others at all. Hi, mirror cat. Hi. Just a reminder, the small mammal house is not open. So I can't show you any of those critters that are inside that building. Back at the flamingos, and they're all doing their balancing on their one leg act. All right, back at the sloth bear habitat, and the bear is out now. Was not out the first time I came by. Good to see one of the bears. All right, so I'm back in Indian bears habitat and I still do not see the bear. So I'm afraid this is gonna be a no-go for the Indian bear. All right, one last look at all four of the zebra. And a white rhinoceros coming over. That's convenient, I'll have to walk over the other side now. There we go. All right, well, Tuesday cattle are out of their barn. Much better look at them. Hey, that's a boy! A boy! Giraffe over here trying to get to those leaves up above. Yeah, much better view of the hippopotamus. I completely submerged like they were this morning. Back at the giant otters. All right, back at the African lion. And the lioness is still up where she was before. Who's just changed sleeping patterns or she rolled over? And the male lion is a round back.
All right, came back and the snow leopard is out. All right. Beautiful animals too. Got long fluffy tail. Very nice. Glad I got a better view for you. Back at the murder tiger. Pretty close to where he was just you know, earlier when I came by. Just not all sleeping. All right, the white-handed gibbon are enjoying their outside habitat now. I like the little babies. So the zoo has a mixture of old buildings and of course newer stuff. Not sure how old this building is or what it used to be used for. Got all the alpaca around. Yay, alpaca! Yay! Oh, they're so cute. You see they all had their haircuts. Got their summertime haircuts. Otherwise they're too hot. Our last animal's up front saying goodbye to black and white lemur. All right, everybody, this is going to do it for my visit to the Philadelphia Zoo in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I had a wonderful time, a very nice variety of animals. There were only a few that I didn't get to see, some of the smaller, like marmoset type animals at the first building I went in, and the Andean bear. Everything else that was on habitat, I got to see. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, most of the bird species are not on habitat right now because of the risk of avian flu. It's for their protection. So leave some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was that I saw today. I'm really, really enjoying this road trip, going all these different places for everybody. I hope everybody's enjoying it. If you're not already a subscriber and you're watching this video, I go to places like this, theme parks, aquariums, quirky roadside attractions all over the United States. So that's something you might enjoy, join my channel. I appreciate everybody that's watching it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, bye. I'm laughing so hard. This is right at the exit of the zoo. Is that perfect or what?